Five days after the Georgetown fire, one blessing that has risen from the ashes of this tragedy is the overwhelming sense of community. Tragedy um, for us in America often leads to community, people coming together, uh, people over, overcoming those obstacles together. And so you're definitely seeing that in the historic waterfront for Georgetown, but you're also seeing that in this innovative space with uh, you know these more tech-minded individuals. But just blocks away from Front Street, a different type of community is emerging. On Saturday, 54 tech-minded people showed up to the first ever startup weekend in South Carolina, taking place here in Georgetown. A turnout that's impressive to John Rossi, who has been to 19 of these events across the country. Even though they had the fire at the original venue, but they were able to get a second venue in place, and also they didn't have any refunds, so it was huge. It's definitely a um, success story as far as I'm concerned. And to Rossi, a big turnout means there's big interest in entrepreneurship in our area. From Friday to Sunday, several groups had 54 hours to make their innovative idea a reality. We're doing a project that's based on a 2007 study by German neuroscientists that said that if you are exposed to an odor while you're studying and then you're re-exposed to that same odor while you're sleeping in a certain phase of your sleep, that you could get up to 13% better memory retention of your study material. And it's these innovative ideas that could one day come together with the city of Georgetown to bring the third most historic city in South Carolina forward. April Baker, WPDE, News Channel 15.